Hey guys, Tyler here. And today we're going to take a look at this Engineer SS02 solder sucker. So the reason I have this solder sucker compared to others was the fact that I needed high quality for the amount of soldering and desoldering I was doing just because I used to fix um, Xbox One controller motherboards. So it'd be a lot of, you know, unsoldering 12 solder points and having to get all the solder off and then resolder back on. So I wanted to be as efficient as possible. And so this was the one that I use now. And what I was using was something like this. You know, it's the same idea. There's a spring loaded inside of there. But how it works is, you know, obviously you'd heat it up, put it over, and then just, and then you go right back into it. This one, it's a lot different. So not only if we, and we're just comparing this to a kit that I, or this was part of a kit that I got in like a $30 um, soldering kit. And this was obviously its own solder sucker. So it was definitely a lot more high quality just because there's a lot more detail that's put into it. Like for example, this is all plastic. This is all metal. And just even the quality difference, I feel like alone is worth the upgrade to this solder sucker. Um, just because the power uh, of the solder that it sucks out seems to be a lot higher than your typical plastic, you know, no name branded, uh, you know, solder suckers. Uh, one thing about this solder sucker that I will say, so one con is the fact that the little, you know, rubber tip that goes on the end that makes it easier to, you know, catch on to the solder points that you're desoldering, it, it definitely can. I, it, it came with two, you know, when you, when you buy this, um, I ran through those two little rubber tips within like a month or two. Um, so that will say that that's the only downside is the fact that those little rubber, um, tips, uh, seem to wear down on me like pretty fast to the point where I just had to take them off completely and just use it, you know, strictly by the metal tip, which it's not unusable. But it is a little bit annoying, so I will say that just beware and just be a lot more careful when you're desoldering to not, um, you know, accidentally touch your soldering tip or your soldering iron to the, you know, rubber tip of the solder sucker. I know it might not be possible in certain scenarios, but it'll definitely help and prolong the longevity of this solder sucker and the rubber tips. In other words, it also can be regarded as the little heat resistant nozzle, which heat resistant Give or take, maybe I just soldered at too high of a temperature, but um, I did notice that those went out on me a little bit too um, too fast. But other than that, when I actually did have the tips working, or you're not not working, but you know, not um, with lots of burn marks and cuts all all over it, um, this solder sucker pulls up the absolute most solder of any solder sucker I've had. I had another one like this, probably in between this grade and this grade, so a little bit more of a middle grade. And, oh, first of all, I lost. Second of all, it just doesn't compare to the overall quality that you can get with this Engineer SSO2. The, yeah, this this solder sucker is definitely a go-to for either any, you know, solder soldering enthusiasts, soldering amateurs, soldering professionals, whatever you may need it for, whether you're doing a small project where you need to desolder 100 different joints or points, you can use it. Or if you, you know, use or uh, do soldering as part of your living or job scenario, whatever it may be, this will definitely also be my uh, choice or my recommendation for both case scenarios. So this is what it looks like. Very sleek and minimalistic, unlike like in your, you know names right here. So if I'm soldering right here, it's pretty bulky in my hand, you know, just. And then as with this one, a lot more ergonomic, so you can just And also, if you ever want to clean out and get all the solder that gets stuck up inside, you can easily just unscrew this right here. Almost there, almost there, almost there. And just pull the tip out, so give it a little wiggle. And then obviously you're all out, you got your spring. Once you're all out, you can clean, you know, but once you're all ready to go back in, put the spring back in, put that back in, squeeze it in, and then easily get this screwed all the way all the way back on let's get that screwed on and then we are now officially all done 